So I am a pretty lucky guy. I've got some of the best teas on the planet that I can choose from. Today I think, you know what? I'm going to go for some snow tea. So I just poured some of the snow tea into my guy wand here and you can see that there's actually a little <laughs> it's a uh, swallow's feather, uh, some downy feather uh, on this on this little nugget here. What's so amazing about this is that this tea was actually picked uh, about three years ago uh, in Taiwan. There was a, quite a quite a large cold snap. And this tea was picked during that, and so it's, it's funny that there would be some downy feather in the in the. So yes, this tea is is uh, called snow tea because it was picked in the snow. Again, pretty amazing. Quite quite a rare tea. So the organic farm where we got this stuff from uh, is. Uh, over 2,000 meters above sea level. So when that cold snap hit, they got a lot of snow. Uh, and they don't get snow every year, but they got the snow that year and they decided, hey, let's pick some tea. So when they gave us this tea, and just as we were leaving, they're like, oh yeah, we have this tea, after they liked us. Um, they said, you gotta steep this a little bit longer because it takes a while for the flavor to fully come out. So here you go, here's the view from my uh, my back balcony. Beautiful August day. And it's just lighting up this tea here. Wow, you can see just uh, really looking forward to having having this. What's so unique about this tea is its heavy sweetness. And it does. It reminds me of drinking tea in the snow. It reminds me of snow, which is pretty fascinating. So on a hot day, I'm having some of this this snow tea. And, uh, and letting it unfold itself in the heat. Uh, it's, it's quite a unique experience, actually. And again, what I find so unique from all the teas from this farm is just how, how relaxing they are to drink. I mean, just how, how deep, how deep they are and how, how settling they are. So again, the story behind this tea is that they, they waited until it started to snow and then they went and picked the leaves and this was a very very small crop I saw all that they got out of that crop three years ago that they had left and it was very little this is the third steep and I'm gonna leave this for a little while just because I think that the uh, well I've been told that you gotta leave this to steep a little bit longer because because of uh, of the nature of the tea and how it was picked